Hi guys, today we're going to learn about Monera, Protista and Fungi Kingdoms. In the Monera Kingdom we have bacteria. Monerans or bacteria are unicellular organisms, which means they are made up of only one cell. This cell is prokaryotic, which means it doesn't have a nucleus. Some monerans can move thanks to a tail called flagellum. Others can't move. Some monerans produce a substance that breaks down plant and animal matter. They are heterotrophs. This helps them absorb nutrients. Other monerans make their own food. They are autotrophs. Monerans reproduce by dividing. That is, one cell becomes two separate cells. In the Protista kingdom, we can find algae and protozoa. Protozoa are unicellular. However, algae can be unicellular or multicellular, but their cells never form tissues. This is the main difference between algae and plants. Algae can't move. Protozoa move in different ways. Amoebas, for example, move using false feet, but paramecia move using cilia. Algae contain chlorophyll and carry out photosynthesis to produce food. They are autotrophs, as we said before. Protozoa are heterotrophs, they eat other living things. Protists can reproduce in two ways. Some of them produce spores, but others divide into two. And finally, the fungi kingdom. Mushrooms, mold and yeast belong to this kingdom. Most fungi are multicellular organisms, like mold and mushrooms, but others are unicellular, like yeast. Mushrooms have a cap and a stem. Fungi can't move. Fungi produce a substance which breaks down plant and animal matter. This enables the fungus to absorb the nutrients from decaying matter. They are heterotrophs. Fungi produce spores that are carried by the wind. So to sum up, if we look at the shape, Monerans are unicellular and they don't have a nucleus. Some protists are unicellular, but they have a nucleus, and others are multicellular, but they do not form tissues. And most fungi are multicellular, except for yeast, which are unicellular. In the movement section, we know that some monerans can move, but others can't. Some protistas can move, but others can't and fungi cannot move. In nutrition, some monerans are heterotrophs and others are autotrophs, some protistas are heterotrophs and others are autotrophs, and all fungi are heterotrophs. And finally, in reproduction, monerans reproduce by dividing, some protistas reproduce by dividing and others produce spores, and fungi produce spores to reproduce.